Okay, so my name is Alessandro Spremin. I'm working for RIA in support of ESA, and I'm in charge of the development and implementation of the announcement of the Josh Platform Plus. That is an European uh, project, EU Commission project that uh, aims at reinforce the use of earth observation globally. So just to give a first overview about uh, the, the, the evolution of, uh, of, of the GIS platform, we started in 2005 with the, with the birth of the group on the Earth Observation, and then we move the now, nowadays the different uh, uh, implementation that allow to discover assets and um, and and to data and now to services we will see in the few slides. These are just few numbers about uh, how the uh, the data environments and the data provider environments were changing in the in this year. So we see that from 2005 to 2020, we engage and register till 200 data providers, and uh, in this way we were able to. Um, get access and harvest more than 400 millions of resources that are now in the in the Geos platform. So to give you an idea, the Geos platform uh, can be considered as a bridge from data to knowledge in the global earth observation um, framework. And the Geos platform is composed of, uh, of the Geos portal that is the graphical user, in, the graphical user interface. Then there is the GeoDub, that is the um, harmonizer and the uh, broker uh, that um, uh, col collect and connect the different data providers catalogs and uh, harmonize the data that are there in order to provide the users a normalized way of, of visualizing and which type of data are made available. Then there is the status checker that uh, check the status and the and the health of the data provider and the yellow stages that uh, um, enable the data providers to be registered as data providers and then can uh, of course provide their their data. So, in order to reach that number and to understand um, how complex is the environment around the geo, uh, we had. Here, if you see example of the uh, user-driven approach that we use, we connect with the different geo communities, and that are not only data providers, but are only services provider, are knowledge providers, are decision makers. So we cover a lot of different type of users, and uh, uh, connect with the geo communities. Like here, in example, the some um, geo initiative flagship and 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 activities, uh, and. Uh, Different uh, uh, community portals that that uh, orbit around uh, around Geo, for example, All Atlantic, uh, DBAR, Energetic OD, and 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 also some different uh, Euro Euro European projects in order to try to find a way to uh, get access to all this variety of uh, information that are around uh, ar around the world. So. Talking with them, we identified different challenges of the of the previous uh, version of the, of the platform, uh, because if we start with only data access and the end discovery, but and there was no relationship among the different resources, we were not able to connect them or understand which were where close to each other could be useful for, for one or the other. Uh, the community portals and the view generation, the possibility to um, to get more control of the, of the community portal, to overcome the obsolete paradigm of discovery, download, and processing, because we know that big data that now, of course, are not uh, suitable for discovery and download and the processing of data, but needs a more distributed uh, approach, distributed and federated approach. And then there was not the possibility to share and, and, uh, and um, collaborate uh, in, within the platform. So these were the challenges and of course they reflected with different uh, opportunities like enhance the discovery not only of data but also services, information models, alg algorithms to create connection among uh, the data to semantic links uh, to allow also to trade take for keep trust trace of the, the uh, of the of the journey of to, to the resource. And so to allow also the reproducibility, replicability, and reusability, 
with uh, starting a strong connection with the journal and other that could be also a session master. Um, then we understand that there was the need to allow the communities to be able to create, to uh, implement their the, the own functionality to customize the, the portal. And so we developed a tool that allowed this. And uh, of course, we have to move from uh, single, from the discovery and download to the uh, cloud technology to allow the 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 exploitation of the of the of the resources and also the sharing mechanism to settle network, but also of uh, co-working on the on the result. So and, uh, currently the Geos platform set is composed of the Geos portal, the yellow pages, to set and, and the Geos app, but this is not enough to cover all the needs that uh, uh, of 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 the communities. And so we are trying to enlarge this to, um, let's say, communities ecosystems, which communities can collaborate and can contribute to the Geos uh, uh, platform. And uh, we started several, let's say, pilots of tools uh, that are, in this case, a community portal, uh, the views generation, uh, the, uh, the connection with the virtual lab, yellow pages, the dashboard tool, and the other third party enablers. So these are ones that, that we know, but then there are there could be also a possibility for uh, and room for others to contribute with other type of what we call in enabler. So we are going to, to see a few of them, what is the main scope, and then how these enablers can uh, be, let's say, put together to create also uh, to generate application or to create an end to end workflow. Uh, to generate uh, actionable knowledge. In this context, of course, we demonstrate that there are few tools and components that the enablers that, can, that, that we investigated currently the platform, but this will be extended to uh, third party in, in enablers. So here are just areas for contribution in the sense that now we are data, data discovery and service discovery, but of course there is there are a lot of mechanisms that, that, that need to be implemented to allow this to expand the, the functionality. So there is space for mediators, data sources registry, the interfaces, but also models and the knowledge base or marketplace to provide other types. So looking at the first, one of the first, uh, let's say, enabler is the yellow pages. Because there was for registering the data, the data providers, the old tool that was based on on Google Form and Seekan didn't allow to have full control of uh, um, of uh, of the um, of the entire process. Let me let us see. Was not possible to change uh, the information. Was not possible to contact directly with the uh, with the job secretary in order to uh, recognize the, the entities and start the process for the for the the integration of data. So this uh, uh, this new tool has been in implemented within uh, within the platform as a standalone tool in the sense an enabler that has been then installed uh, in the University of Geneva that is responsible for the yellow pages and they are managing these and they can then start from this start to uh, create new functionality or work on it. And uh, allow the administration of the of the of the data providers, but also allow the data providers and set to change the the information, change let's say update informations related to them. And we we saw that the concept of the yellow pages tool allow also to explore other other possibilities. For example, with other the zero communities, uh, in case they will need a tool for uh, collect requirements, so use a form and the database to um, to support their their day to day activity. So there are some uh, some exchanges to them to reuse some of these components and also from the other. Then the community port association tool is a tool, um, is an enabler that uh, we implemented to allow to give, let's say, full control of uh, uh, creating a community portal. Uh, in the sense that uh, there was the need every time that uh, we uh, we implemented new community portal, there was 
the necessity for, for the community to make some kind of arrangement changes or, or, or other functionalities and they have to come back to us to understand how to do to do that. With this tool, we provide them with the full code uh, with the, a template of the, of the, like it is now the, the job portal, then they can start the, on top of it to work. If they have the knowledge to implement new features, they can have directly work on, on the code and contribute to, the, to that. If they are not so expert, they use this tool that creates this, this, uh, uh, this community portal and they can customize it with, the, with, with different content logos and content inside and also for, with, the, uh, with the administration of the, of the site itself. So it was, um, it was a way to allow the, the communities to contribute in a more easy way without waiting time for the implementation from the, from the platform. So here is just the process from the download to the configuration of the server, installation of the server, administration of the of the different the contents, and then the new the new the new the, the new port. Uh, from the new portal, then you can also ask to be a community portal of the of the of the Joe community, and then there is a process to um, to make this. Another component was the GeoDAB, that would be the data assets broker that allowed to um, harvest to federate the different catalogs from the different data providers, and allow to create to create views, for example, that are sub data set of the entire data set that are that are available in the in the, in the Catalog, but also allow to uh, a flexible way to uh, change the filter based on the type of catalog that uh, uh, that uh, you are you are you are exploring. And the the advantage and the and the power for the of the of this broken system is that it's not uh, it's not supporting only one standard or few standards, but is to adapt to other standards. So. We are in close contact with the, with the data provider that request to share the data, and uh, we try to uh, understand the way how to interface with the with the with those catalog and, and and the portal. And so, for example, till now we were able to support more than sixty protocols to, to connect the further external services. And on the contrary, hand, we also provide different interfaces, uh, standard in interfaces, not only one to connect to to the Jira. So here is just an example of a new data sources that have been harvested in, in the last period and which one has been, has been updated. This is another example of another enabler that is external from the from the users uh, that from, from, from the job platform that is useful to uh, create uh, the, the entire workflow from the model, data gathering, processing, and showing the results on the on the on the on the platform. Um, in order to support the parting of reproducibility, replicability, and reusability, putting all these two together uh, or new ones allow people to uh, create new applications. So, for example, this is a dashboard, another feature that has been implemented. So, for example, the 15, the support to the 15.3.1, so the then the degradation was developed in collaboration with the GeoLDN, was developed an entire workflow. Uh, starting from the data till the generation of actionable knowledge and uh, to configure also a report to this dashboard tool that allow to uh, create a report and share it and co-work on, on, on that. On the same approach was also the is also the 11.7 accessibility to urban risk space application that put together this this information, other type of data, of course, about the uh, OSM information access mode, uh, to create another type of actionable knowledge. So these are types of data set, the access mode that use them as, as input. And then you can see how the outputs can be put together in, in, in the dashboard and can be able to share with, with, with the statistics that, uh, that, that they provide. So there are other activities ongoing or other services, let's say, ongoing applications that, that, uh, that will be implemented in the, in the future and will be available as demonstrate how communities can contribute with external components. So from my side, it's all. I just invite everybody to have a look at the Jewish portal and at the Jewish platform plus the project uh, webpage where you can find the last updates, deliverables, and meetings. Thank you very much. Thank you.
you, Alessandro, for the wonderful. Can you hear me? Okay, yeah. thank you for the presentation. Does anyone have questions for Alessandro? Anyone? Any question? Okay. Someone is there. Hi, Alessandro. Can you hear me? Yep. Perfect. Um, I went to the GS portal and uh, I looked at the collections or at the data that you have there. Um, and I mainly found OGC standards in there um, that you provide metadata about, correct? It's not only OGC standard, but yes, most of the data uh, from the different data providers yeah. were provided in this. My, my question is, um, uh, I looked for, for instance, for Sentinel data and uh, for Sentinel 1, Sentinel 2, yeah. and um, it, there's a new spatial temporal asset catalog or a new specification coming up, right? Uh, or uh, Do you plan to include that as well? So currently we are facing with the uh, with the um, open up she have open up uh, catalog to get this. So of course if there are changes on that, uh, we have to review of course the way we are harvesting the data from there. So if there are new possibilities, uh, we can we can explore them. But currently it is. It's just a, a way to um, harvest the catalog and provide the, the type of metadata that in are in there using other filters that are not available for other data like cloud cover or, or uh, the type of sensor that are not available for others, but for the sensing lab is, is valid. But uh, yes, now currently we didn't investigate this because there, was, mm -hmm. there wasn't this need currently. But of course, if there are some changes, the, 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 then the discussion will, will start and see how we do integrate it. Thank you very much. Thank you for your question. Any other questions? Is your platform, Alessandro, is your platform uh, compatible with like stack and stack index? Uh, let's say that uh, Currently, uh, yes, we are a platform, but we are harvesting data from 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 the other side. So, what exactly you mean for compatible with with uh, with the stack? In the sense that if uh, we are depending on the protocols that are that, that are available from the data provider, and then we are just harmonizing them in one uh, one single place and in an in in an harmonized way. So, can you, you harvest the stack index? I don't have this answer right now. I have to ask to the to the technical team that okay. that is working on the other thing. So that is the GeoDub anyway. So if you want, if you would like to contact them, is the problem of the team. 